Hi, uh, here is a really quick overview um, of the coming slides uh, to help you answer the final question on uh, the Google Doc. So, uh, as you know, sea otters have been hunted down for their beautiful fur and they have been protected by the Endangered Species Act. Uh, you'll watch this short video here explaining what the Species Act is about. The US Fish and Wildlife Services has established the rule that if the population of sea otter gets above the number of 3,090 sea otters in California for three years in a row, then they could be removed from the endangered species list. So let's take a look at what's happened in the recent numbers. We can see that from 2016 to 2018, the numbers have been indeed above 3,090, which means that they can now be recommended to be removed uh, uh, from the endangered species list, they would become threatened, a threatened species. So your job is going to be uh, for the coming lessons uh, to think as a marine biologist and you are going to be recommending whether to keep California sea otters on the endangered species list or whether to remove them from the list. In order to do this, right now, I want you to think of all the information that you need to gather in order to make an informed decision. So what information do you need to help you predict whether the population of sea otters will continue to grow? Let's go to that Google Doc. All right. You have part A, questions that um, are found on all these green slides, you're going to watch the Endangered Species Act video, uh, talk about the rules that I mentioned. What is a species? That's a good question. You need to go to the virtual world wall and see what the definition of a species is. And based on the recent sea otter population numbers, can the sea otters be removed from the endangered species list? The answer is yes. It can because the population has been above 3,090 uh, for three years in a row. Finally, the last question. What information do you need to help you predict whether the population of sea otters will continue to grow? I made here a quick list uh, of biotic factors, living parts of an ecosystem, and abiotic factors that we may need to consider in order to know, hey, is that sea otter population healthy or not? So, for example, predator prey, do sea otters have predators? Do sea otters have predators? That's a good question because you want to see, do they have like a large uh, quantity of predators? Uh, is this going to be something to consider that's going to threaten the health of the population? Uh, competition, do they have competitors? Um, how good is their food supply? How stable is their food supply? Could be also another uh, piece of information that we need. The weather, remember that in uh, Isle Royale, uh, climate change was playing a role. Is climate change or is any weather pattern being important for the health of the sea otter population. Diseases, uh, also the habitat. Is the habitat endangered in any way? All of these can be information that we need to collect in order to make uh, a good recommendation.